This tax season is going to be a disaster with the new 1099Ks being issued to anyone receiving payments over $600. And just to clarify, this is only supposed to be for goods or services and excludes personal transactions. With that being said, I don't think anyone is ready for the tax season disaster that is about to rain down on American taxpayers. You think I'm exaggerating? Check out these statistics according to Michael Sullivan, former IRS agent. There are 516 million Venmo transactions every day. There are 41 million daily PayPal transactions. Cash App, they have 44 million users. Multiply that by 365 days, that's a huge number. Let that sink in. I don't think the IRS is even ready for what's coming for them in the way of phone calls, letters, and complaints because of the millions of 1099Ks that are going to be issued this tax season. Later in the video, I'll outline some options on what you can do if you receive a 1099K that you believe is incorrect. Hi, my name is Noel Lorenzana, your friendly neighborhood accountant. Follow me for important public service announcements just like this one. I wasn't meaning to make this video, but with tax season starting, I've been seeing lots of chatter and worry about the new 1099K filing thresholds that were lowered to $600. I've made a bunch of really good videos explaining it and how to report that on your taxes that you could check out up here on a playlist. This is gonna be a bigger problem than I and many tax professionals had originally anticipated. How do I know this? All my 1099K videos are doing very well and the amount of questions viewers are having are off the charts. I'm also seeing the same from my fellow tax professionals. Here's the problem. Many people just like you will receive a 1099K for the first time and not know how to report that on your tax return. Figuring out how to report that on your taxes is confusing. Many will ignore it and then receive an IRS letter or deficiency notice. These letters and confusion will lead to millions of calls to the IRS during the already busy tax season. Here's another problem. I guarantee with all the 1099Ks that need to be processed by PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, to name a few, there will be invariably lots of 1099s sent out that are incorrect. So here's a scenario for you. What if you get a 1099K from PayPal for $2,500? That is clearly a mistake. Doesn't matter what the reason is, it shouldn't have been sent to you. What do you do now? The IRS has a copy of it. All right, you can just call PayPal to let them know that they should send you and the IRS a corrected 1099. Uh, sorry, that's not going to happen. You won't be able to contact anyone at PayPal to help you, unfortunately. Believe me, I've tried. So now the problem is between you and the IRS. This is a nightmare scenario for the average taxpayer and there's no good solution that I can see. It's too late to contact your congressperson to complain about the new $600 reporting threshold. They're trying to pass legislation to increase the threshold, but it's too late. What do you think about this? Am I overreacting? I've been known to do that. Let me know in the comments what you think. Basically, the IRS is entrusting the payment settlement entities to send them and their customers the correct information. Hmm, with billions of transactions, good luck with that. If you receive an incorrect 1099K, here are some options. There may be better ones that come up or official guidance from the IRS, so be sure to subscribe to stay connected for any future updates. Option one, if you receive an incorrect 1099K, contact the issuer and explain why it's incorrect and request a corrected 1099K. This is actually the official IRS guidance, that is, if you receive an incorrect 1099K from an issuer. The problem is, the issuer will probably ignore you or give you the runaround. Meaning, good luck getting them to correct anything or getting through to anyone who will listen. I may be wrong, but let's go to the next option. Option two, report it on your tax return as income, but deduct the entire amount with an explanation. There are a couple ways to do this, but I think there's only one right way. Allow me to explain. Some like Brian Kim from Clear Value Tax will tell you to report it on Schedule C as income, then deduct the entire amount as an expense and other expense, essentially zeroing out the Schedule C. 
I wouldn't recommend this because one, it may not be a trade or business activity, and that's what Schedule C is used for, and two, adding a Schedule C to your tax return can increase your audit risk. You don't wanna do that. Some may tell you to report it on Schedule D, capital gains and losses, with an explanation. I think the best way to report it is on page one of your Form 1040 as other income, specifically on Schedule 1, page 1, line Z as shown here. You would then deduct the same amount on Schedule 1, page 2, line Z as an other adjustment and call it something like erroneous 1099K, issuer unable to correct. Let's say that you tried to request a corrected form but were unable to receive one. These totals would then flow to page one of form 1040, lines eight and 10 respectively as shown here. As of right now, I can tell you that this is what I and other tax professionals will be doing for the most part. Agree, disagree, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you found the video helpful. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel to stay connected. If you need a tax preparation checklist, you can download one for free. Link is in the description. Do check out this video here where I show you how to report a legitimate 1099K on your tax return with real world examples. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.